fashion changes with the speed of light these days, I'm seriously thinking of abandoning clothes altogether in favor of baked on striped paint and a small loincloth. No, no trace of him. Well, he could have been and left. No, I asked when I came in. Ah, there's not much point in staying, is there? What? I said there is not much point in staying. Oh. Hi there, kids. Go have fun, huh? I don't believe it. It's me, all right. What a sight for sore eyes. How are you, pal? Gene, this is called Tarandelli. He owns the place, Gene Lane. Oh, hi. Hello. We're on a missing persons kick. Looking for Gene's brother, Tony Lane, you know him. Tony Lane. Tony Lane. Oh, no, it uh, doesn't mean a thing to me. Still, they come through here in their thousands. Huh? Yes, I can see that. Why can I call? Why, well, you're not leaving. I'm afraid we have to. Oh, come on. Let me buy you a drink. I haven't seen you in years. We got a lot to talk about. Some other time. Good night, Cole. Hey, Max! Max! Attack of curiosity, maybe? So you're Tony Lane's sister, and you're worried about him. Yes. Ah! Ah! Max, there are moments when a gadget like this really comes in handy. This guy's dynamite. Who is he? You don't know him? His name's Templar. Simon Templar. Perfect workmanship, eh? Hand painted? Of course it's hand painted, love, they all are. Yes, lovely. <laughs> well, they are, love. Tell all your chums it's genuine fan quang. Was that 15th century? 11th, sweetheart. Oh. 11th. Hey, that's hard. Yeah, right. <laughs> has Tony Lane been in tonight? Tony hasn't been in for three days, and his deliveries are piling up. He didn't go to Manchester this morning? An interesting question. Then answer it and cut out the chat. No, he didn't. That kid needs a lesson. Yes, teacher. He does. Have you been to his room? A couple of hours ago. He wasn't there. Perhaps he's gone home to mummy. You've got to be kidding. Well, then where is he? 
I'll take a look around. You close up here, go to the hotel, see that Ching's suite is in order. Master's command anticipated. I've laid on the lot, including joss sticks and wine. <laughs> what time do you get in? Three o'clock. Call for me at the club at two. Lumble slab and willow blade. Look, fish, cut it out. The cool it cord. I'm only kidding. I got problems. Your kind of kidding raises my temperature. Ching arrives tonight, so wear a suit. A plain, simple, civilized, decadent suit. Okay, okay. And comb your hair. You certainly have some lovely friends. You must meet more of them. What did he do to us? An old oriental trick. A needle in his signet ring. Fast acting barbiturate. Why? Because he knows something about Tony and I'm looking for him. How do we get out of here? Good question. The way we got in, presumably. That man, that, that waiter or whatever he was, I saw him push a little picture on the opposite wall and, and then the door opened. Nice view. Pity I don't have fingers four feet long. He can't keep us here forever. Simon, I'm sorry. I really am. I thought it would just be a simple thing of finding Tony. Drunk, any objections? Six, to be exact. The deliveries you were supposed to make in Manchester today? I didn't go. Why not? Because I didn't feel like it. You're not paid to feel. But I do. Sick and disgusted. Cord, I... I can't work for you anymore. I'm quitting. You're completely hung up and you know it. A couple of words from me to the police, you'd go to jail. I could change. I've got my whole life in front of me. I could tell the police a few things myself, couldn't I? Get up. You came to me begging for help. You had no friends, no money. I felt sorry for you, so I set you up. And how do you pay me back? You shoot your mouth off. I didn't. Your sister turned up at the club tonight. Jean. How did she know where to come? I don't know. She knew because you told her. I didn't, Cord, honestly. I, I never said a word about the club to anybody. Not even to Simon Templer. Who? Knock off the innocent act, Tony. You've had an attack of conscience. You want to go to the police. Give yourself up. Tell them all about me. Well, forget it, Tony. There's no way out for you now. <laughs> involved. Well, as Archimedes said, Eureka. Open the people. Keep it back with your fingers.
You're a genius. True. Well, I'll say this for him. Court has excellent taste. Some of this stuff must have cost a fortune. Do we have to admire the antiques now? You're a designer. You should be interested. Come on, let's split. Get out of... <coughs> Sonny, go bend your ruffles. What's your name? Well, Max. Max what? Max Fuss. Oh, you have my sympathy. Now, Max, when did Court Thrandall leave Hong Kong? Three or four years ago. Is Tony Lane working for him? Yeah, I think so. Where does Tony live? I don't know. Think again. I don't know. You can ask to your blue in the rotten face. Right, we'll see whose face goes blue first. Where does he live? He's, he's got a room in Norton Street. What number? Tony always was a misfit, I guess. He and Dad fought constantly, and then two months ago, he just up and left. Oops. What's that on my batteries? Very tricky. I think so. How does it work? Oh, pliable plastic lamp sewn into the material, rechargeable battery pack, a transsensory, hyperdelic experience. To say the least. How far now? Oh, right to the left and first on the right. What happened? I don't know how, but they got away. What did you tell them? Nothing. Max, I know you. Your resistance to pain is zero. What did you tell him? Nothing. Except Tony's address. Gene, stay with him at the hospital till it comes round. Find out exactly what happened. It's obvious, isn't it? He's tried to kill himself. You think so? He attempts suicide and puts a blank to that window. A rug at this door. And nothing here. Look at the gap. And where's the key he locked himself in with? Oh, Gene, I'm afraid this is not an attempted suicide. It's attempted murder. You better run along. I'll call you as soon as I can.
I gotta go to the airport. I'll follow him. Find out what hospital, what condition he's in. And don't louse it up this time. You are quiet. I'm just a little nervous. I always am when there's a collection to be made. Risk is inherent in all illegal operations. When did the shipment arrive? We got the Port of London Authority notice this afternoon. Everything's in order. You must be tired. Why so? It's a long flight from Hong Kong. I spent the time meditating on the thought of Mao, whose wisdom radiates in all directions. I am therefore refreshed. Good evening. Sorry, we're closing up. Oh, that's a pity. Tony Lane told me to come round to see you. You know Tony? Yes, sir. Uh, very well. He said that you could possibly match this for me. Where'd you get that? Oh, don't tell me it's a fake. I understood it was a genuine Chai and Lung. No, mister, I'm sorry. I'm closing up now. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm here, you're here. It's only going to take a few seconds of your time. Do you have a duplicate? No. Now, look, if you'll excuse me. This is quite fascinating. Cho Khan. Tell me, uh, what's upstairs? Look, you've got a nerve. And an insatiable curiosity. Does Tony really work here? What about it? Well, I mean, he doesn't know anything about these things, does he? He stood look out once for Lady Chatley. Now, look, beat it. I've been polite to you once. Oh, you've been very rude. I may be forced to have a few words with Cord about you. You're a friend of Cord's, too? Why don't you ask him? Tell him that Simon Templer dropped round.
operation is much more successful in New York City than in London. Oh, the two situations are entirely different. Something which must be changed. It is the main reason for my trip. You both realize that in China we are pursuing a revolution with dedicated ferocity. And brilliant. Ultimately, we will subjugate the West. And whether it takes us 50 years or 200 is of no importance. Now, about this present shipment. Excuse me. <coughs> Hong Kong Bill of Lading, Commonwealth Preference Certificate, Customs Interval. And we received Port of Authority notice the shipment cleared customs today. We have finished and I am tired. And I'll drive you to your hotel. Thank you. The shipment will be picked up tomorrow? The first thing in the morning, as soon as the warehouse opens. Good night. Good night, Mr. Chang. Fish? He's caught there. No, no, he left a few minutes ago with Ching. Oh, not long. He was taking Ching back to his hotels. Well, how the hell should I know? OK. Night, Max. Oh, Max, hang on a minute. About that shipment tomorrow. You got a pencil? Yeah, well, Court forgot to make a note of the bin number. Will you take it down for me? Right, hold on. You there? OK. Warehouse 2, bin 10, stroke 15. Yeah. Night, right, Max. I've been trying to get you. Tony Lane's in the Welbeck Hospital. And? Well, I asked at the desk. They said he was still unconscious. Come on. His sister is still in the waiting room, Dr. King. I promised her you'd have a word with her. He's been badly concussed. Don't leave him alone. Yes, Dr. King. Park at the side entrance. Keep the motor going. Could you tell me what room Mr. Tony Lane is in, please? 
The 309, Wentworth Wing. The 309. Oh, sorry, sir. No visitors. No, but I am a personal... Uh, reception. OK, thank you. Yes. Yes, of course, yes. Yes, I'll look it up for you. Notify me at once if he regains consciousness. Yes, Dr. King. Thank you, Nurse. Good evening, Nurse. Good evening, Doctor. Uh, Dr. King asked me to take a look at Mr. Lane. I'm Dr. Riley. Oh, nurse, I left my bag down in the doctor's lounge on the first floor. It has my initials on it, GHR. Would you mind getting it for me? Uh, Dr. King said I wasn't to leave Mr. Lane alone. Nurse, I'm here. Oh, yes. Yes, of course, Dr. Riley. Dr. King said I could drop in on him for a second. Oh, of course. Uh, he's with a Dr. Riley at the moment. Might be an hour, might be two days. It's difficult to tell. Nurse. Yes, Dr. King? I told you Mr. Lane was not to be left alone. But Dr. Ryan is with him. He said you asked him to look in. Riley? Who the devil's Riley? One cc of cotton, nurse. Yes, doctor. He should be all right.
Doctor. I know, of course, that Tony is your first consideration. But you want to talk to him. It's vital. To him? Or to you? <laughs> I'm sorry. When? Call me in two hours. Gee. Come on, take care. Thank you, Doctor. Nurse. Have an orderly stand by for the rest of the night. Yes, Dr. King. You want me to come in? No, I'll be all right. You'd better take something. You need sleep. So, I've got so many questions. Well, the answers are all in that warehouse, and I'm going to get them. Be careful. No, don't bother, I'll manage. Good night. Good night. Set. Court, something's gone wrong. Be silent. Well, what goes on? What gives? The documents necessary for collecting the shipment are missing. Well, they're in his desk. They were. Cord, I think Templar's got them. Obviously, he intends collecting the shipment the moment the warehouse opens. In six hours. Stand by the car.
hold it, Templar. I put it down. Slowly. While your methods of obtaining the shipment lacked subtlety, they were effective. One hopes that future shipments will be handled in a more routine manner, so that... Fried Pearl River rice birds, product of the People's Republic of China? Oh, he, he must have got the wrong crate. You fool. He got the right one! Anyway, I, I couldn't stand it any longer. So I left home. And went to work for court? Yes, it was waiting table at the Red Dragon Festival. Well, then what? Simon, I, I had a car crash. I hit a girl and I didn't stop. Court knows all about it. So he uh, blackmails you? into delivering these? I had to. Where to? Clubs. In Liverpool, Manchester and London. I wanted to quit, honestly. Court tried to kill me because I said I was going to the police. And I will, I, I promise, son. You get better first, huh? Meditation marshals one's inner resources. A class reunion? I regret deeply, Mr. Templar, that you have interfered with a highly organized operation. Oh, it's a special talent of mine. The People's Republic of China intends to dominate the world. So did Hitler. It will not be a rapid process. It may take many years. Nevertheless, we can claim a modest success. Have you any idea how many drug addicts there were in London in 1961? Three, 500. Uh, today, Mr. Templar, there are 7,000. Sadly, we are not as successful here as in America. In New York alone, addicts number over 100,000. I tell you this so you will fully understand that we shall allow nothing and no one to stand in our way. Pearl River rice birds. Delicious. Mark you, the sauce has to be just right. You have the key to the whereabouts of a million pounds worth of heroin. Interesting, isn't it? You will tell us. Oh, I doubt that. I do not. Obviously, you put our label on this crate. Correct. And therefore, the label from this crate on our shipment. A brilliant deduction. You refuse to talk? Not at all. I'll... Uh... I'll talk about anything you like. Food, religion, politics, uh, sex. I should find you quite amusing under different circumstances. Well, that's uh, very sweet of you, my old uh, honorable number one son. Take your choice, Mr. Templar. Your cooperation or her life. Is over, aren't you, Cord? Templar, you'd better be right. I knew you were trouble the minute you walked into the club looking for Tony Lane. Here it is.
Okay, get it. Hey, what are you playing at? You're our most resilient man, Mr. Templar. Yes, well, it's wearing a little thin, so if you don't mind. I could make you very rich. Very rich indeed, if you would consider joining my organization. I'm sorry, but it would interfere with my choir practice. I'm quite serious. Cord Thrandell is a fool. All brawn and no brains. Well, I'm afraid you're stuck with him. May we go? But of course. I gave you my word. Goodbye, Mr. Templar. Your word. Uh, my word, Mr. Templar. Of course, I cannot speak for Cord. Could I uh, reconsider your proposition? Such resilience, of course. What proposition? I would, of course, have to be in complete charge of the London operation. Agreed. What is this? An idiot boy here will have to go. As you say, he is all brawn and no brains. He is completely dispensable. Now listen, Ching. I've had enough. Oh. Oh. Tim, drop this in my van. Left it in your van. Look, mate, I tell you, that's him. On the contrary, that's him. And that's him. And that's him. And this is heroin. You'll find an office full of it through there. Oh, by the way, Ching, that offer of yours about taking over the London operation, forget it. <laughs> 